Okay, today is Friday, fan mail number 24. 23 was last week. So that means with American math today that this is 24. Oh man, I'm just looking now at my YouTube thing. It says I have 42,999 subscribers. I'm going to take a little screenshot of that. That's cool. To be right at the rollover number, one away. That's cool. Anyway, uh, Friday fan mail. Bros, I got this one, this one, this one, and this fucking beast right here. Weighs like 75 pounds. Uh, that's going to be interesting to see what's in there. So, uh, let's go with the smallest one first. got this. Oh, whoop. I'm glad I didn't cut the shit out of this. It was small, so I figured I would cut whatever it is. There is uh, quite a bit of instruction and notes in here. Let's look at what it is first. Whoa, what is this? This is interesting. Oh, I think I know what this is. I think I know what these are. See it? It's like a little, uh, sorry, I bumped the shit out of the thing. It's like a little bracket. I think this is the oil pump thing, that guy. He said he was gonna send me one. And then he sent these high chew grape and sensationally chewy. Interesting. Oh yeah. It is like uh, 100 degrees and 100% humidity right now. Oh, it's like a it tastes like a Jolly Rancher, but it chews like, not like taffy, it doesn't stick. Anyway, sorry. Is this the oil pump thing? Yes. Is there no note? V-O-G-T Performance on eBay. LS engine oil pump pickup tube girdle brace. I think he told me he was going to send me these. Thank you very much. Uh, Charles Vogt or Vogt? Voigt? However you pronounce that, he can tell me then. V-O-G-T. That could be taken many ways. But as you can see, uh, he was telling me that, uh, you know, people that have oil pressure instability this fixes that because I guess the pickup tube can rock slightly and what this does is there's a second bolt hole which a lot of you guys know about which is underutilized so these are it holds the pickup tube tighter that is cool next time I have one apart I'll bolt it in there dude thank you very much Charles alright this guy next we'll just say from our buddy Nick These small ones that worry me to open sometimes because I'm afraid I'm going to cut whatever's in here. So I nip the end. Here we go, here we go. More baggies. I feel like I'm a drug dealer sometimes. Everything's in little bag. Oh, is this a mass air meter? Oh, this guy said he would send me stuff too. There's a weld in, there's a conversion thing. You the man. This guy, I, he was posting uh, just this week. Or last week, he has that, it looked like a giant vacuum cleaner. Dear Matt and Jamie, congratulations on a little boy. I can't wait for the sloppy parenting videos. Hopefully you guys heard me, I had the mic pretty far away. It's a fucking thunderstorm coming in right now. After seeing you put the blow-off valve in your truck, refusing to let fan mail go to waste, I knew I had to send you something you have not previously used in your video. Behold, the PMAS HPX. This bad boy will support around 1200 crank horsepower in a 3 inch tube and can be used in a tube up to 5 inches. Included is a flange for your buddy to weld onto the appropriate location, a conversion pigtail for you to hack up and transfer function sheet for you to copy directly into HP tuners. We figured since we're finally diving into other PCMs and OSs, we would just send you some more stuff to further confuse you. As you know, tuning with a proper math is cakewalk, of course, and the data provided with our custom calibrated sensors makes this even easier. While your truck doesn't currently require this sensor this large, we are hoping you do some teaching with it and someday you will utilize it to its full potential. I am kind of interested in putting this 
uh, if you agree, my friend has that, uh, so this has the meter in it, or the, yeah, it's five wire. So this has the IAT sensor built in. What I would like to put this in, uh, my buddy Chad Cooksan, Kusan, has that 69C10 with the plaid fenders, and the entire engine bay is beautiful, and it has a stock truck mass air meter just fucking hanging out. Looks disgusting in there. And I said to him it would be cool for us to go speed density or do a weld in. Uh, and this is like prime candidate for him to build like a beautiful one piece welded aluminum pipe, like a four inch, weld this guy in, put your mass air meter in, and uh, retune it because he could make that a beautiful elbow as he makes everything beautiful other than this bullshit plastic mass air meter truck housing and put this in here like our engine side so you wouldn't even see it and you even gave me a conversion thing incredible you are a gentleman and a scholar thank you very much that is really cool you guys send me the coolest shit i say that every time uh for precision intakes and calibrated sensors, please visit www.pmass-math.com. Corey Johnson and the entire PMAS team. So give us a hand and let's make math sensors great again. <laughs> so if you guys need quality meters and everything, visit these guys and see what they got. We'll be putting that on uh, my buddy's car for sure. We'll try that out. That would be perfect, I guess, for him. All right, and we're on to a large flat rate box from a man named Hunter. Oh, we got a letter. Let's, let's read the letter. It's like Christmas, you know, you gotta, gotta, if you open a card with money, you gotta act like you're not interested in the money. Uh, in front of your relatives. Oh, this card is really well thought out and shove the money in your pocket. Oh, this is nice. What is this, a gift card? For You guys are outrageous with these gift cards. <laughs> Starbucks, Jesus Christ. As if we don't drink enough of this in a day. $25, Matt and Jamie from Hunter. I love these. The cards are styling too. I never thought I would be like the, the hipster high-end coffee guy that I am today but man once you start drinking some good coffee it's hard to go back guys I don't know what else to tell you if you don't drink coffee anyway hi Matt my name is Hunter and I've been watching your videos for about two years wow nice you have inspired me to take on my first LS project I am currently on my fourth LS turbo build I remember you saying 550 to the tire and a Fox body goes nines in the quarter so I decided to build one and have been documenting it on my YouTube channel hunter tuned all one word. Here's a token of my appreciation for all that you do for me and the sloppy community. Enclosed, I sent you two ECUs I've bricked in my tuning adventures. Maybe you'll have a use for them. Also, I've included a Starbucks gift card to keep you going. You can check out my YouTube channel for hacked up hot sides, H pipes used for a merge. Gotta love the true Ford enthusiasts when you slam an LS in your Mustang. They love it. Keep up the good work. Hunter tuned Mulholland. I'm gonna have to check that out see how far he is in his adventure I'm definitely gonna check him out right after this I'm gonna give Jamie the Starbucks card so two brick DCUs I'll see what I can do with them if anything you know what would be interesting is if the idle air control chip what we were talking about in my ECU videos is in your ECUs I have P59s without the idle air chip and I will try I will identify the chip and try to uh, move them over and then try to start my truck with the same tune up in it and see if you can do that. There's, I don't see why you couldn't do that, but anyway. This is heavy. Oh! Hope it doesn't fall off my stool. The stool is not very big, and this is a long, heavy package. Envelopes. Okay. I have no clue. Lots of foam. Lots and lots of foam. 
lots of foam. Wow. And there are cylinder heads in here. <laughs> wow. Uh, whoa, you hear that thunder, guys? Holy shit. You had to have heard that. It was so loud. Are these, po these are ported heads. Someone sent me cylinder heads. I feel like this is gonna fall right off the stool if I take the weight out. Let me, uh, I'm fucking around here, guys. Excuse me. Oh, oh they got valves. Wow. So these are decked, absolutely. The surface is like incredible. And then, can you guys see this? Someone, someone wrote on the side, sloppy stage 12 race heads and Sharpie. I can't really hold it. The valves are going to fall out if I show you. Uh, see that? Ported. And then, oh yeah. Here, take a look at this. Ugh. Ported. Let me, uh. Yeah, it's too bright. But anyway, ported cylinder heads. Uh, wow. They're used stockers, but they're ported and decked. What are they? This is, uh, I know people have talked about sending me these. This person is anonymous, though. And it even has lapped valves. Wow. So I just need to put, like, springs and seats and stuff in. Uh, everything is cleaned up on these. Wow. Yeah, what I have talked about many times is doing a stock versus ported cylinder head test. Like, take my truck as is and uh, make, like, 475. Uh, set it up at whatever boost. Make 475, like, clockwork. Do it, like, 10 times in a row. And then put on ported cylinder heads. Don't touch anything. And then re-dyno it and see if it makes the same amount of boost. And see if the horsepower difference... Uh, if it makes a big difference. So this would be, this is definitely something I will be doing, uh, swapping these heads on and seeing if there's a big horsepower difference at the same amount of boost, which is what should happen, but you know, the people that document this are the people that sell you the product. So you would like to think that they're not trying to scam you in a numbers game, but this will be a neat test because What the hell is it? I didn't even look. It's a 706. So I have 862s on my truck right now. So these are like a drop in. Same exact thing. Yeah, the valves are cut really nicely. Anyway, that is incredible. You guys have outdid yourselves again. Uh, I guess we're going to be doing a ported head test on the Colorado. That's exciting. Back to back. So. Uh, that is it for Fan Mail 24. Thank you guys. You are awesome.